One of the questions I get the most are what are closing costs? It's also the financial cost most overlooked by buyers. Closing costs can be a little tricky to understand, but don't worry, it's not as scary as it sounds. In this video, I'll give you an overview of everything you need to know about closing costs and provide a few tips on ways to limit the amount you'll pay. Welcome to my channel and another edition of the Real Estate Made Easy series, where we tackle all of your burning questions about real estate and make home buying a breeze. If this is your first time on the channel and you wanna know everything there is about buying a home in the Phoenix, Arizona area, then subscribe below and tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to learn about the current market in Phoenix. I'm Heidi Littleton, realtor with my home group real estate serving the Metro Phoenix area. Grab your coffee and let's get started. So what exactly are closing costs? Closing costs are expenses beyond the down payment to complete your real estate transaction. Some of these fees are fixed and some you can shop for. These fees are determined by the lender, escrow company, and the home you choose. Many home buyers underestimate just how much they'll need to pay in closing costs. Closing costs are typically three to 6% of the loan amount. This means that if you take out a mortgage worth 400,000, you can expect to add closing costs of between 12 and 24,000 to your total cost. So let's chat about the fixed costs, meaning you don't have much wiggle room to negotiate. These are the costs to do business. They include the fees from your lender, such as loan origination, prepaid interest, credit reporting, and private mortgage insurance if you're going FHA or putting less than 20% down as well as fees from the escrow companies, such as owner's title insurance, recording fee, escrow fee, and courier services. So what closing costs can you shop around for? The first is homeowner's insurance. Many lenders require you to pay a year's worth of homeowner's insurance at closing, but you do have the option of shopping around for this or combine with other insurance like auto to get a lower premium. Another is your home warranty. You can sometimes negotiate to have the seller pay for this, shop for different levels of coverage, or even opt to not have this at all. Now let's talk about a few costs that often surprise first time home buyers, property taxes and those sneaky HOA dues. These costs are not technically closing costs, but they're essential to consider when calculating your overall expenses. Your HOA fees are depending on the community and the guidelines set by the HOA, but typically you will pay two to three months in advance. The property tax amount is determined by your closing date. Now that you hopefully have a better understanding of closing costs, let me share some pro tips. First, get multiple quotes from different service providers for the items you can shop around for. Second, don't forget about good old negotiation skills you might be able to convince the seller to contribute towards your closing costs. This can be extremely helpful in making your home purchase more affordable. I was recently able to negotiate $17,000 in closing cost assistance for my buyer. In fact, currently 40% of closed sales in Phoenix last month had some closing cost assistance and the average amount was $8,500. So remember, closing costs are an important part of your overall home buying costs. So make sure to factor in these additional closing costs when budgeting for your dream home and save where you can. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more real estate tips and tricks. If you have more questions about closing costs or are thinking about buying a home, don't hesitate to reach out. All of my contact info is below. Until next time, happy house hunting.